What is up guys, this is Space Grip the Knight, here to bring you 6 bot designs that will help bring some awes into your life. Today's featured bot designs are cool looking and adorable. I know, I said I, there would be pizza, but no one wanted to submit a pizza bot to me. Anyways, all bots are currently available in the factory in case you want to show your love and support to the builders. So without further ado, let's get started. This first bot is known as Firefly Mark II, the C6 version, created by LaFoffer. Being slick with his C6 plasmas and C6 colors, this bot is one that popped out to me. It hovers with quite the speed and contains plenty of energy to bombard the enemies. It is quite the bot to use for battle while riding in style, and you also gotta love them struts. He does have the Firefly version without C6 Plasmas in the factory, in case you want to spend less robots. And of course, you cannot go wrong with the Danish flags, or else your boy Gromik will haunt you. I mean, I mean, hug you. He'll hug you. He'll show you nice hug. This second bot is known as DB10 XAU-51-2 Fall Mark II, created by Shikai. This Prop Dogfighter is packed with tons of love as he spreads the design of green and black to the max. It contains SMGs, plasmas, and a proto seeker on its tail. It holds together quite nicely and is quite fun to fly around with. The utilization of the cosmetics are also on point, can't go wrong with that. Sadly, this bot did not make it to the long list of the Propellers Art Bot Contest, which explains why the first part is called DB10. But at least you are in my list of cool looking bots. Don't get emotional, eat a taco. This third bot is known as Panzer, created by Kev123 the Gamer 1 2. This bot reminds me of Hot Wheels. You know, big wheels in the back and tank tracks on the front style. It is a heavy drifter, but also is a decent tank. The arrow rod placements are placed in sweet positions. The color of the bot is nice and soothing, and also uses laser as its primary weapon. But don't worry, you can also give your allies tons of love with your nano constructors. And also drift while you're, you're healing them and stuff. Or just spin around in donuts, I mean, it all works out. This fourth bot is known as Porsche 919 Cosmega, created by CRD Guy. The purpose of this bot is solely on being the coolest hot rod in the galaxy. The size of this bot is massive but also hollow on the inside. The red spoiler is on point with its design as well as the mega wheel placements. We will miss you Megabots, but at least we have the sick Porsche to look at. Now, if only Free Jam could add that custom game, that would, that, that would be nice. Now, let's dive into some cute and adorable bots. This fifth bot is known as MB, Little T-Rex, in case you're wondering that MB is a uh, mini bots. Created by Anubius. Cute size is everything when it comes to being adorable. Too cute, mech legs, and a tank track on the inside to replicate his love for a scaly dinosaur. Great job, mate. This sixth and final bot is known as Magikarp uses Splash, created by Sheep Wielder. Yes, this cute Magikarp hovers. Sheep believes Splash is using hovers and thrusters on the inside. I for one kind of stripped the parts off of the inside and made it have the ability to alignment rectify its way across the map. It's okay sheep, I, I still love you, but I mostly love alignment rectifying with Magikarp. <clears throat> As mentioned, all bots are currently available in the factory and the price labeled are the full forge costs, but it may be cheaper for you. If you have a bot design that you want to share or show off, be sure to visit robocraftgarage.com and upload screenshots of your bot on the Space Crew group, or fill out the factory bot submission application which can be found in the Space Crew Discord under hashtag robotbuilds. 
Links for both the website and the Discord can be found in the description down below. For the next factory highlight, I will be looking for Tesla bots. It can be a Tesla flyer or ground unit, but it has to use Teslas as its primary weapon. Be very creative and please, no, no shurikens. Future factory videos will be different. I know some of you want more gameplay of the bots shown and more frequent factory videos. I will be testing my new way of editing the factory videos in the next episode, so be critical and give me your feedback when the next episode releases. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your robo needs. And until next time, this is Space Crypt the Night logging out. I will catch you guys later. There was a ship flying through space, just like the Vanguard and its final moments. It looked like an ostrich. Then one day, while flying past Mars, like usual, it ran out of fuel. The captain had to tell the rest of the crew it was a mistake. They started hurtling towards Mars on the flattest area on Mars. As many escape pods as possible were used. Only this captain was left. He and the ostrich ship crashed into Mars, leaving a giant crater. This crater is where ostriches roam every day trying to salvage as many parts as possible to rebuild the majestic ostrich ship. This is the story of how Hellion Impact Crater was formed by Demo.